Aw, you're very nice. That's all right. Yeah. Um, so, did you get my, I guess you got my most recent message, or? Um, well, the, the machine cut it off. Um, it okay. Was, it was something about you were very grateful, yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah, so, well, I was. I, first of all, I love those cards. Very funny. And I have a cat, so I really appreciated them. Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. Those are funny cards. Those are good. And I've been reading through that manual. It's like lesson plans, right? Um, but that, yeah. Yeah, that's right. But yeah, so those things, and, and it was very generous, too, for you to include that check. And we'll have to I'll work it out so I can send you back some. And well, no, you're going to send, after you've done the course, you're going to send it oh. to me. Send you the course? Oh, well, yeah. Yeah, that's the easy way to do it. Because yeah. um, even if you choose to do a, another course, mm -hmm. having the influence of just hearing this guy, you, do, you don't actually have to do all the work, but having the influence of hearing this guy will um, influence you very much. Right. Yeah, it, it, no, but it seems like a good class course, and you know, I'm, I'm excited to take it. Well, the other thing is that uh, he is then your advocate. Because right, he wants right. you to get a job, whereas if you go to some university, they're just going to say, like they "Well, don't really care about well, this person." You know, they're, they're, there's a list, and they, 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 you know, you you have 45 graduates of the program, and uh, mm -hmm. go to it, guys. You know, here's some listings. Whereas, you know, he wants his right. certificate. Like, with, like he has a vested interest. Yeah, and he wants to yeah. make sure that. Um, people know that his certificate exists, is valid, is better than... And his graduates can, right, are people you want to hire. Right. And, yeah. you know, personally, I think it would be a harder course because he does put people on a very high standard. Mm. Well, that's good. I'm more prepared. And one thing I've been kind of taking note on is kind of just the way my personal feelings, you know, how I'm thinking about going away, being alone, you know, how I'm a little bit nervous, things like that also. Right. So I think that's one thing I'm kind of taking notes on in my little journal, so that's kind of a, because I think a lot of people, if they're going to go alone, you know, they'll have the same feeling, so it's a good thing to talk about. Oh, yeah, I mean, it's one so thing. You know, because if I'm going alone, it's kind of, it is kind of, I'm kind of scary, I'm a little nervous, but also excited. Yeah, you know, what's it like to be over there during uh, holiday time? It's not the same as when you're working, or right. Um, what if something happens in the news? It'll be interesting to see what your journal captures. If some, if something what? If something happens in the news, for example, um, if I were to go overseas now, I would think back to the first time I went overseas for um, nine months. And what I recall then was I was really lonely at holiday time. Yes. And yeah, and that's one thing I was thinking about, kind of having the holidays now and thinking, oh, my gosh, I won't be with my family next year and all that stuff. So that's kind of, yeah, a different kind of take. And then working through that and seeing, wow, what an opportunity I had. I got to eat goat. Right. Yeah, one thing that was interesting, you know, my friends, I've been, you know, kind of telling them, and I can have, like, a whole section of people asking, like, why are you doing that? And that's all my different friends' reaction. And then the one thing I said to my most recent friend, you know, besides, like, oh, I want to help, I want to teach English, I basically just tell them, you know, I've been in this area for a long time, I want an adventure. And that's actually what I said. I said, I just kind of want an adventure, I want to go somewhere new, and I want to see what happens. Well, the other side is, um, th this is actually where growth will take place in economies. It won't happen mm -hmm. here in the United States. I right. mean, we're, we're pretty, you know, it, it, you could try to compete with all these other people. And, right. you know, um, one of the ways that we're going to compete is being able to export. We have to turn our economy into more of an export economy. Right. And so... Uh, you know, because we import so much, we're going to have to learn to export something. And one of the things that immigrants bring us is connections with overseas. Um, one of the easiest ways for you to get, you know, if if someone was uh, a national of 
Argentina or Brazil and they want to get a green card, one of the thing mm -hmm. one of the pathways is to establish a company, fund it adequately and show that you've got um, a legitimate business exporting something to that country or importing something to here. Either way, you're creating jobs. And so if you, you come here and create jobs, I mean, this is what um, people from Hong Kong in 97, when they were uh, worried about the Red Chinese taking over, um, hundreds of thousands of them moved to Seattle and San Francisco and Vancouver. So, um, and they set up businesses, export business or import business. So it was, um, it, you know, it, that's that hunger. I, I found that being around people who uh, learn English as a second language, they are specially selected because they want to be here they want freedom they want the opportunity they don't that, that you know you can set up a company here in the United States um, in you know 30 minutes you can be on the internet selling right. something um, try to do that in another country right you know it it's it, it, there are and you'll be carrying that, even if you're not an entrepreneur yourself, um, it, you've, you know stories. You just right. have to learn to tell them, that's all. Mm -hmm. So you're saying that the people that are, the people like that you're teaching, that are coming from another country, that want to learn English, Right. you're saying they're the ones with the hunger to start something new here. Now, think but about they can't the do the same thing in other countries. At some point, they were going to a small school in Argentina, mm -hmm. learning English after school or on weekends. Right. And th there, there were um, U.S. people coming in to work. Right. And so you would be in that school and you would be seeing my students before they got the idea to come to study in Florida. That's true. That is very true. And then I'll, I'll tell them who to go to. And then what's interesting is that you're going to interact not necessarily with the general populace, but with right. people with who... With people that are interested in learning English and right. taking that their life in that direction. So, um, it, it's like segmenting out the people who are just bored with school. Mm. You're getting people who have self-selected themselves to say, you know, um, I need this. Right. And so, uh, if you've ever done any teaching, um, well, you've done some uh, tutoring, I think, right? Yeah, you know, yeah, a lot of tutoring. Right. 